Hello, and welcome back, Nachobrug, uh, Dungeon Master. I'm Rath, I'll be your Dungeon Daddy today. Basically, what we're doing is we're going back in. Now, um, we, you guys might notice this is different than it was. We, basically, I continued on for a whole nother episode, and then all that footage was corrupted. It wouldn't work at all. No idea why I tried for like two days straight to try and get this thing to work. It wouldn't work. So we rebuilt from the ground up. Um, I've left off exactly where we left off in the last episode that you'll see here on YouTube. Um, we threw this person in jail and we need to torture them, right? Um, so that's where we're at. However, everything is different. So we're going to go through and kind of look at what's different. Now, I don't even remember what it looked like before. So I'm just going to walk you through everything. So our guests come in this bridge to go to the tavern. Now our tavern is expanded. I don't, again, I don't remember what it looked like before. Um, but I've got a, a bathroom here, uh, in the middle of the dungeon, uh, tavern. We've got the tavern expanded. We've got a couple bars up here. We've, we've moved on to the regular bar and we unlocked those. Um, got some game tables, the buffet tables, um, game table here, a couple of, uh, dwarf, uh, tables as well. Um, so that's the general idea of the tavern thus far. I don't know if I'll expand the tavern anymore. It might just stay like that. Over here, we've got a uh, guard's room, which I um, can't remember if I was planning on moving these or I built them. I can't. These are going away. This might, might make this all tavern as well. Potentially. Honestly, I can make this all tavern. I can make this whole freaking thing a tavern. Hmm. Hmm. Um, basically, if we wrap around down to here, this would be kitchens. Kitchens would open into the tavern. Okay, we'll think about it. Anyways, um, this is our current guards room. Uh, human guards. We've got 12 lockers in here, so plenty of room for human guards. Um, and these rooms are upgraded a little bit. You can see we're up to one and a half on the sausage. Uh, but in this room, you can see it's at ugh, almost two, just shy of two. Um, like this bathroom is two, this kitchen, two, this kitchen, two. So we upgraded these a little bit, but <clears throat> basically we've got our dirty kitchen here for the, the orc cooks to be able to cook and like make all their meat dishes. Over here, you've got the clean kitchen for humans and elves to make their lunches and um, <clears throat> vegetable dishes. We should be doing good on ooh, vegetables. We are not doing good on. I wonder how are our cooks? We have 15 cooks. One, two, three, four. I have four elven cooks. <clears throat> okay. I have seven, so hopefully they'll keep up on vegetable dishes. We need that to stay up. So anyways, um, also noticing the floor is pretty dirty. How many, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna see about hiring some more cleaners. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 11. All these floors should be getting cleaned and they're not. Maybe they're not supposed to be getting cleaned. I don't, I don't know. Um, but anyways. Tavern, guards room. Over here we've got our two kitchens. Up here we've got another bathroom. Um, people keep complaining about not being able to find the latrines, so I put about two on every floor just to be safe. Um, <clears throat> this one's supposed to look a lot better. It doesn't look that great right now, but you've got showers and you've got toilets, so whatever. Um, over here we've got Ravax's office. He, his office is on the first floor at the back. Um, we've got all our alarms set up, so we've got an alarm for the back. Uh, we've got an alarm up here for the front. Um, and then staircase here, going up to the second floor. So on the second floor, um, it's not entirely done yet, but uh, we've got... Uh, okay, we've got human guard lockers as well. I'll probably change these out at some point, um, but for now, human guard lockers. Over here, we've got training room. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, I might keep it human for this one. A human, dwarf, goblin, elf, orc. Bro. Um, oh, sick. I didn't know that. You could just look over the entire thing. That's cool. All right. Anyways, um, 
I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, but anyways, we've got a training room here. <clears throat> Off the training room, we have the uh, dormitory. Big ass dormitory over here. Um, we've got a pay room here, a treasury room, them to pay out all the peoples. Um, temporary relic storage. Over here, we've got a bathroom. And here we've got the canteen. Another staircase going up. Over here we've got a workshop for dwarves. Currently making all these weapons. And the reason being is uh, we should be able to get enough weapons to give us <clears throat> guards recruited at rank 3. So we start off with better guards. Over here we've got the break room. We're down here. Back into the dormitory. You know what I'm realizing? I only have one bathroom on this floor. Whatever. Figure it out later. Um, so we've got two stairwells. One here and one down at that end that can go up to the third floor. So <clears throat> this is going away. Don't worry about that. Um, this one, we've got an entrance here. Entrance over here. We've got the guard room here. A bunch of dwarf and or dwarf orc and goblin lockers. So this is a dirty area. Uh, we've got the alarm system there. Again, this room will be leaving, so we're not worrying about that right now. We've got uh, is this the goblin workshop yes yeah, so this is where they're making us tools <clears throat> damn and with the tools it'll allow once we get up to 200 uh we can get our first trap so we haven't gotten that yet over here we've got another uh training room up here we've got the canteen over here we've got the break room we've got another bathroom here and we've got their dormitory Um, <clears throat> and then we'll go up to the fourth floor. So on the fourth floor, we've got a bathroom. Entrance here. That we want to do a we want to do a uh, door there. Um, we got the guards room. Um, this is where we're putting in our drow guards. Um, we've got yeah bathroom up here. We've got a break room. Over here we've got canteen. Over here we've got uh, dormitory with the bunk beds. And over here we've got the prison. Another bathroom. Farewell. Back to guard room. Alright. So that's it. That's that's the floors so far. We are all caught up. We are back to torturing. Maybe. Eventually. It also looks like we unlock something. What do we unlock? Unlock a new plant. The Elaif's Guinness plant. Nailed it. That's exactly how you pronounce it, too. Just in case anyone is curious. Um, put a couple of them down. Also unlock something. No, we didn't. <clears throat> Okay, you can see we're getting intel from this. So we torture people to gather intel, and then we just want to make sure that we don't kill them. You don't want to reach the end of the bar or something. Okay, when the prisoner no longer has any useful intel, I don't know how you tell that. Release them to gain reputation. Alright, they're gone. Oh, I should have read that. My bad. Detention um, has completely broken the adventurer we imprisoned, Master. Good. Let him go. To spread terror about my dungeon. And it's a good way to deal with strikers. Provide them with free housing for a while and watch them become a lot more cooperative. I can finally write to the Temple of Wisbo to rub the superiority of our installations here in their faces. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? It's like a family of possums came to die in my nostrils. Well, this one's not on me, I swear. Just got the kitchen cleaned like 10 days ago. Master, master, the church of Nurgle is attacking us. You're under attack. What? Oh, 
degenerate, chaotic cultists? Crush them mercilessly before they leave their maggots everywhere in our halls. Assemble a health and brutality committee immediately. Nurgle? Oh, damn. I... forget it. Okay, so we're being attacked by Nurgle's cult. Level three and a couple level twos. A chicken should alert us. Got one guard reporting in. Oh, two, three. The guard captain, who's currently weak. Four, five. You might want more guards. <laughs> My guards are not high level. Not winning this fight. <laughs> yeah, basically have one guy left. Oh yeah, no, he's done for. Uh, now it happens. Hey, where were you guys? Just a second ago. <laughs> Much better. Okay. The fun one. Okay. What the hell? There was a strike and then the strike was over. Oh my god, did we owe so much? Nine dead minions, but we made eleven hundred dollars. Miracle raid defeated. Freaking Shelly but guts. What a reek! And many minions are sick or injured. But why the attack? Yeah, uh, this one's on me. I refuse to pay a cheese supplier from a nearby dump. The kind that sells the real stinky stuff, you know. He tried to sell me a batch that was way too moldy. We must sort this out before it happens again. We'll send everything we have. Just be careful. I bet he's got some real twisted stuff in store for us. And if he's in cahoots with this Nurgle lot, you'd better be ready to puke your guts out with your knees deep in crap. Okay, it wants us to win, win the raid, sketchy merchant of moldy cheese. Do we have even the capability to do that? Guards and spies. Eighty-six percent chance with a twenty-three percent mortality. It's not great. It's a start. Honestly, killing off all those guards wasn't a terrible thing because we start recruiting our guards at level two now. I think. Level. Yeah, at level two. Soon to be level three. So. We should be able to get better guards. People are still quitting and we still have no idea why. May I help like, you? Cooking, you bored stink could eat a troll. Like I have all of the stuff available for you to eat, drink, and be merry. Weird. Alright, we need them to win that raid. We are making good money. Oh, I wanted to see the this floor. Uh, see, I haven't added them yet. Okay. I want something like that. that and then we'll come down to this first floor 
Uh, oh, no, don't sell the friggin' room. That'll get us about a thousand dollars back. Okay, and the quest is over, and we failed. All right. Uh, pretty sure I sent all my best. Now let's send not my best with an eighty-one percent chance. <laughs> RNGs. It was not on my side. Now what I'm debating is extending this out. If we uh, add walls, like mm, can't do that because you can't fit a door right there. So what we need to do is cancel all that and remove your stuff. Here. Okay. And we gotta remove walls. I think just that. Fine. So if I do that, then I can click on this add wall. <clears throat> like that, and then add wall. Expand out the uh, tavern. Yeah, sure. Now, um, I'm not sure if I want more bars or more tables. We can do... Brought the dwarf tables up here. That would fit the dwarf tables. That leave you open for.
doesn't necessarily fit. What if we did? Do game tables there. That'll work. Let's do that. Take us up to 150 total occupancy. That should work. Alright, what do you got? Yeah, we did it! Done! We've dealt with that cheesemonger business. Too bad our minions got banged up. Rebax! What was this unauthorized raid? Nothing important, Master. A um, little disagreement with our suppliers. But we have some sick and wounded, and... I don't give a flying scroll. Those Dalmorg shit stains can go to hell. This is a dungeon, not a sanctuary for wimps. Yes, Master. Hmm. Still, we need to heal our minions. We can't just leave them like that. Click an injured minion. Yes. Display the minion's information on the second page. Minions can be altered when raiding, working, or when facing an incursion. These alterations are not curable ah! unless. Sally Bug, Doug, and Gorgon Pus! Got a splinter in my foot! Oh, the pain! Ow! Oh, the pain! That's wooden floors for you! You scrub them to remove blood stains a few times, and it becomes dangerous to walk in socks. Just dribble some hooch on your foot and Walking let socks. the splinter rot under a bandage soaked in rabbit poo. Hogwash! I can pull it out easily. A small incision with a drill razor blade. Some delicious pain. A few scars would suit you so well. Can't you just cast a healing Creepy. spell, Master? Yeah, Master. Silence, you fools! Get me a real professional! A fire magician! Not one of those Euclid church whack jobs! Farm magicians can cure and remove status effects from your minions if you have placed a pharmagic cabinet in the dormitories. Alright, they want... Coaching stool in the training room. The training room on this floor. That. It's only a one star, but it's there. Okay, and then in the dormitories, we want Farmagic. Cabinet. One in that one. One in that one. And one in that one. Alright. And then heal minions with the farm magician. Sorry. You're already being him? Oh no, wait, I haven't hired any. Hang on. Uh, you? Yeah, Farm Magician. Let's see. For zero, for 11, for 12, for 6, for zero. Done, Master. We hired a Farm Magician. And we'll also be able to treat minions in addition to your toe. Ugh, about time. Send me that fool immediately. Immediately? 
Okay. Excuse me. Heal people. Poisoning damage over time, no lethal. I think it just auto heals them. I don't think I actually have to do anything. from the misunderstood necromancer society they are outraged that your minions no longer die of disease and injury they say they've lost an important source of fresh corpses and are threatening you with an incursion well tough luck i'll kick their asses myself ow oh my foot and if they attack us i will hire independent necromancers to ruin their lives okay i'm guessing they're attacking Here they come. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Okay, so we've got undead from the misunderstood necromancers to say corporation. I don't remember. Um. Also got some humans. Couple of humans, couple of undeads. Ooh, you know what we can do? We can imprison the humans. Call the undeads. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at all them. Alright, we imprisoned two, killed three. We got six hundred and four. Club incursion was foiled. Death suits them so well. Okay, they want me to hire a necromancer now. Drow necromancer. Masochist, right? Yep. You cost six, you cost eight, you cost zero, and zero. We've hired a necromancer, Master. He's licensed for professional practice of necromancy in accredited dungeons. I'll show those spoiled beaten bulbers what a real evil wizard is. Furthermore, we could refurbish their corpses a bit. Ugh, the dead are no fun to me. You can't pry screams out of them. And the stench of their rot is an offense to my nostrils. I'm not sure it'd be wise to antagonize such a powerful guild, Master. What's up, Kevin Ace? How's my day going? It's not bad. Um, I mean, it's a little bad. It's, it's rough, but I'm making the most of it. I'm being positive. Uh, I'm going to the movies tonight, and I'm flying out to uh, for, uh, Thanksgiving break um, tomorrow. So, staying positive. Quiet, you down more dung. Okay, sorry. Uh, something in the break room. Photomaton allows minions to have fun, cannot be used by drowsy trolls. In the break room? Okay, we will add some to our break rooms. Here you are. The Photomaton. It said this object was a precursor to the Iron Maiden. Tormentless tormentees were tied up in there to be humiliated. However, some of them found that fun, hence the spikes. Throw a couple in. Who can you not be used by? Drows and trolls. Alright, so we don't need them on the fourth floor. We'll put some on this floor. Alright, there we go. Oh. There's no fun I want more necromancers. Diversify our trade through disruptive innovation in order to open new opportunities for our core business. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this, of course. Uh, I mean, 
I'm having trouble seeing how... I just read this fascinating article by a wizard consultant named Midranthir in Dungeons and Despots on the new perspectives of upgradable management in the context of the organic growth of added value. I'm glad to see you're developing your skills in accordance with the Dungeon Fund's quality audit index grids. Curses and ingrown nails. <laughs> There's two of them now. I really should hide all those magazines. They're rotting his brain. Okay. Uh, items in the exterior menu can only be placed in the dungeon's gardens and balconies. You get the human-based adventure cycle fertilizer increases the chance that necromancers will produce a greater amount of compost when they store a human corpse in a grave. Um, and then we have composting grave can be used by necromancers to store corpses which produce compost. Increase maximum storage of compost by 50 in the dungeon. This is to increase. This is basically like a tool storage. So we'll go one, two, three, four. That should give us 200. And we'll do that to increase it. Put up some fences to be cute. And do a little tree. Add some flavor. And there. All right. Make the outside look pretty. Master, we've built a compost pile. It was one of the novelties of this year's Waldorf Evil Equipment Fair. <laughs> Another crappy gadget for lazy stewards. Not at all. Look, it's great. No more icky smells. Plus, it can be used to grow vegetables. Yeah, well, I'll just keep my own food stash separated from the stuff we serve customers, if you don't mind. Turnips and brain juice aren't really my thing. Still, I'm not one to give the side eye to some old cheese. Alright, I was just thinking about it. We should uh, send some people out on some missions. Get some extra money and stuff. Yeah, this one's good. Artesian and banker. Damn, I have a level four farm magician. Pretty freaking good. All right, we'll start with that. What's this? Fight is underway and a strike is over. I don't know why the strike. What strike? I didn't even know there was a strike. <laughs> All right, we're gonna torture these two. Get some intel out of them. Before we release them back, and I know I need to. You guys are just torturing yourselves for fun. I think I have something I need to add here. He still has the little intel thing. I'm wondering if he's still giving us intel. I'm gonna push it to the push it to the limit. Yeah, see, it's still. I don't know. I'm gonna free him. I'm not sure. I don't quite understand it. it. Just says once they're done giving you intel, you let them go. Adventures are coming for the treasure room. Alright, I don't want to babysit you. So, I'm gonna free you. Okay, uh, let's see.
Alright. Succeeded that one, so we gained more reputation, some extra money, some dissatisfaction with New Orgo, and some extra weaponry, but I don't think we really needed it. Um, domestics and cooks. I can do that. Gain some money, reputation, and piss off New Orgo even more. All right, what do we got here? Master, we have received another letter from the MNS. The necromancers are vowing to um, turn you into a zombie toilet cleaner for their guild headquarters. Let them come. We can repel any of their assaults. I'm afraid they could upscale and summon increasingly powerful undead. So can we. Is this a sneaky AF bonus stream because Wrath does what he wants? Yep. <laughs> In that case, we shall move first. Let us cast a summoning circle to channel the cosmoplumic flows to our telluric node. Bring unto me all the weapons of mass necromancy. I will think of the most sadistic way to use this new dark army. Necromancers raided by the non-dead. <laughs> what a fitting end for those musty fools. <laughs> Okay, pause. Uh, have Necromancer, place Necromancer, circle of Necromancy outside and invoke. What's going on here? Oh. Big line is very long. I feel like... I feel like we might want more treasure rooms. Really hope not fit. I mean, this room has no walls. Yeah, I don't... bathroom over there. I'm going to sell this bathroom. Yeah, and you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to edit this room. We're going to delete this doorway. Sell this room. Then we're going to build a new treasury room. there the bathroom no boiler floor is this on four There we go. Extra treasure room in the bathroom. Granted, treasure room is right next to the stairs and the entrance, but 
it'll work for now. Who buys a used dungeon bathroom? <laughs> Valid point. It does say we sell it, but yeah, who's buying it? Alright. Did that one as well. Let's come down to the first floor. Unlock something new. We unlocked a guild of banner. Oh, you know what we should do? We should jump into the market. Got it. Zingdo's apartment. A large closet for Zingdo's apartment? But yeah, of course. Garden gnomes. We're going to start collecting all the garden gnomes. All right. Uh, I need the circle of necromancy. Place those down, and then I believe you go into no into minions. No, hang on. Maybe we need these to be placed. Necromancers carry corpses to graves for storage, thus producing compost. Necromancers will open you the gates of recycling. Open the open you the gates of recycling to you. Open the necromancy menu. The minions, recycling, in exchange for compost. A necromancer can summon an undead from a summoning circle. So, I've got a couple different ones. You cost 15. Select a necromancer. Available undead summons evolve according to the necromancer's rank. The summoning circle is ready, master. As you ordered. Perfect. By the nine secrets of Zinch, let us raise our evil army. Unlimited power. <laughs> See, what I don't get is this is a level one necromancer. It's bone dust. It's flying around because of the draft created by the summoning circle. Yeah, just keep those doors shut. Unless you're interested in ordering a bunch of feather dusters. What's more, it can ruin both your lungs and the flavor of the wine. Necromancers, the OG recyclers, facts. Uh, having a multiple uh, treasure rooms that are smaller. Maybe? I don't know if they're all just connected. But look, so I have a level 1 necromancer, I can get a level 1 zombie. I have a level 3 necromancer, I can only get a level 1 zombie. But 15 and 10, so the level 1, I only spend 10 compost. The level 3, I spend 15 compost. What does that give me? Compost. That would make more sense. Let's test that. Um, so right now we're at 70. Was there a bonus that we got from anything? No. Okay. For 70, if we do this, does that give us 15? More? No. Winning all our missions. What's this? We heard rumors that the Temple of Wismal has been abandoned. Rumors we should investigate. Send some minions to explore the outskirts of the temple. Be where it could be a trap. Fly painting. You want orc, goblins, and trolls? I don't have any trolls yet, but here's some orcs and goblins. Forty-eight. Are you a hard mission? You're an easy mission. Those are my best guys. Huh? I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, what's this? Something's afoot at the Temple of Wismal, Master. What now? What new affront to my person have they come up with? It's strange. Rumors say that the temple was deserted by its priests. It must be a trap. On the other hand, if they've been the victims of a somewhat vigorous adventuring party attack, 
This might be a good time to finish them off. Ah, finally. The day of my revenge has come. Scout their location immediately. Affirmative. Maybe it's me, but it still sounds like a dungeon crawl. No, we are not adventurers. It's an evil operation of an exploratory nature. Evil operation of exploratory nature. Uh, what if I do orc goblin guards? 48%. That's a lot. We definitely won't be doing that anytime soon. Let's figure out how we get this to happen. Invoke three deads. I feel like I'm doing it. Where are you? Uh... Waiting for your pen. The line is very long. Why aren't you guys going up here? This line's empty. Maybe it's just that this. Maybe it's just that it's because it's on that floor. We'll do that instead. See if that helps. Also, in that case, gonna need more bankers. How many bankers do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Troll venture coming for the treasure room. Which one? We're on the third floor. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> well, hang on, they haven't set off the alarm yet. All right, well, this should be interesting. You really should have waited for the alarm. Are you a healer? You guys, stop going in one at a time. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god. Let them set off the alarm. Okay, the chicken clucked. Thank God. Bring all the guards. Much better. <laughs> need to get rid of this room. It is right in the way. Okay, holy shit. They killed nine of us. I didn't imprison anyone. Whoops. Really only good if you need the intel. Master, which I guess we don't need it. It's official now. The incursion is over. Ugh. Finally, 
I can finally resume my work. I hope this serves our reputation and that the fund will pay us well. Such are the benefits of membership, Master. Many constraints, but also additional income. We should reinforce our defenses further. I want adventurers to die in torment. Let their limbs be torn off and their guts be strewn about the hallways. Affirmative. We'll skewer them. Okay. Um. Yeah. They messed us up. <laughs> but I'll provide a bunch of dead for our uh, thing. Are you ever going to come out here and do this thing? You know, I don't. Oh, we didn't get paid. R. Okay, now you're going down to eat in the tavern. I'm just gonna follow you. Someone's carrying a corpse. That's good. You just need you to do your job. Well. Hmm. Summoning an entity. Okay. So let's look at what we have right now. We have 30. Okay. Now we have 30. I think it costs 15. Why does it cost more? The the undead are the perfect employees. They never sleep, sleep, eat, or complain, and they can work around the clock. Level three. Oh, did you make a level three zombie? Is your level three? Hmm. That's not the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay. Um, we need to invoke more undeads. But... All right. Let me do a real quick overview of who we have. So we have two of each artesian, so that's good. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, bankers, that's plenty. Three executioners, that's plenty. I don't necessarily need all of them. Um, spies, we're at four currently, that's fine for now. Healers, farm magicians, we're at five, that's fine. Necromancers, we should be at what, four. Good. Level two, level two, level one. Um domestics. Plenty. Okay. And cooks. We got five human cooks. Um I'm gonna fire some of you. I don't necessarily need you, and you're costing me a lot of money. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got extra human cook here. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elves. One, two, three. Three orc cooks. How's our meat production? That can't be good. At zero, yeah, we need to hire more orc cooks like immediately. Did all these guys cost zero? I <laughs> just hired all of them, and then we're gonna come in here, come in here, go cook orc. Bunch that cost me zero. I just remembered people have expectations. Hey, it's that guy. No, that guy's not here yet. Um, people have expectations of the 
star in their room, so I wonder if we need to be increasing um, those, and that's why people are quitting. It could be, I'm not entirely sure. I really like you to uh, finish. Probably should have just done one each, but. And I can't, like, I can't pull up my undead minions. It's not a thing. Nothing in the necromancer undead. Yeah, I don't know what the undead do. I wonder if they fight people. Or, like, are they guards? No guards actually in here at all. We're up to 14, we're a bearable dungeon. Even in the tavern. A hundred people waiting to be served. Does that mean we need more bars? Let's see, so... You. So you quit. Why? You had an expectation of one. Your guard room here. You start. Yes, sir. No. So, you were fired. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, I'd like a little bit more information on the why people quit. It's just, I don't understand. This is unpaid salary. Always ready for work. I'm guessing you just aren't getting the people. That's why I've got treasuries on three of my floors now. Up the third floor. Any treasury here? Not really anywhere I could fit one. That's not true. Um, if I do that, I do that, move. I do like that. What was back here? Is this the canteen? There. Now we've got a treasury on every floor. Hopefully that helps. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if it will or not. All right, two out of three undeads. And one more undeads. And there's dwarves working in here. 
Listen, I can't control which room the dwarves go to work at, all right? Didn't expect them to just not show up, though. Open storage is full. Unmet needs unpaid salary. Let's pick work coming. All right. Um, me, you. I just hired an extra dwarf. Moderately long. Hmm. Okay, here's the dwarf. Alright, sweet. Uh, the elves are coming to loiter in my dungeon. Better not. I'll be err. So mad. Walking the dead. Oh, we did the thing? Okay, hang on. We don't have the points for that yet. When the raid, walking the dead. So, this is what? Well, at first, this place may look like a rather festive graveyard. It's actually the meeting place and hangout spot for necromancers who signed up with the MNC. We're going to get gold, reputation, and weaponry. They want us to send any of you guys. 99% success rate. Our like evil it. raid is on its way. The restless dead against those bargain basement necromancers. I need to move you up to the next floor. You do not have room here. <laughs> Very in the way, bud. As long as the dwarves say hi ho and wear pimp hats. I don't believe they do. They uh, don't do either of those things. They say here board and count monies. We did it! Your non dead troops killed it, quite literally. Vampire Origin available? What? Okay, um. That should be interesting, but before we get into that, that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, all the things, subscribe for more, and we will see you in Vampires.